What's up, beautiful people? It's your girl, Maya, all up in the woods of Sweden. I live on the countryside of Sweden, and I really wanted to film uh, in the landscape that I'm in. My home is, like, literally this forest is next to my home, and they are chopping down the forest, so I really wanted to not only share the beauty that is around me, I wanted to share that while I have it, because I know that it won't be here for much longer, um, based on all the forests that they're chopping down. <laughs> this video is all about creating where you are. And for me, specifically, I have created a Patreon page that I encourage you to join. It's launching today. The link is in the info box below. And Patreon is going to be my place where I can have more in-depth conversations, where you can get to see more of the behind the scenes, the scenes that get cut out onto the editing floor because I'm trying to keep you engaged for a certain amount of time and this thing could be very long. So Patreon is the plug. I have been wanting to launch my Patreon page for years and I just kept putting it off until finally I had to stop overthinking it and just do it. So I'm doing it. I'm inviting you to join. For all my early bird people, I have exclusive bonus content specifically for you. So click the link in the info box below. I am so excited about this next chapter. I am truly going to be pouring all the ideas and creativity that I've been wanting to share here on YouTube. But because I've been here for 10 years, because the space has changed, a lot of a lot of what is promoted is based on the algorithm, based on titles, based on thumbnails, based on all of these things that are not bringing that much joy to my life. I really love creating content and I wanna do that without having to think about all these other things. So on Patreon, what you'll get for your monthly subscription, three videos, one video a week. Then I'm gonna give you a live. My next tier is for my mothers. I have such a space in my heart for you, Mother Creative. That is a place for new mothers, soon to be moms, creative mothers. It is a limited space, so I just ask that new mothers or soon to be moms join, um, and we can hopefully have rotation um, because it is limited. So I'm gonna have that tier. We're gonna have bi-weekly live streams as well as exclusive mother content so you can be inspired and supported. When I was a mom, I relied heavily on the people online and a lot of the people I didn't know so I'm basically creating a place that I wish I had access to during that time of like the early postpartum part and I really suffered and it was a test and I believe it was my testimony it's allowed me to pursue uh, further education in uh, postpartum work I am a certified postpartum doula I also have a passion for helping mothers and community so the Patreon is gonna be where I am popping off. It's launching today. So click here and start watching the content. So creating where you are. I have been a huge proponent on creating where you are. When it comes to starting a new chapter, it's easy to overthink. It's easy to give yourself excuses why you shouldn't do it, why you shouldn't start. All these lies, lies is what they are. The best thing to do is to just start. Start where you are. You don't have to have the best camera. You don't have to have the best mic. Um, just start where you are. And if that means you wanna start school, you wanna start attending school, start that project, start that dedication. Just know that when you start it, follow through with what you start. Part of starting a new chapter means you have to stop thinking. So I've been meaning to start Patreon and getting more into my doula work but I've been distracted. I have been in my head a lot and I keep telling myself, start now, start where you are. I have started YouTube, I've, I've started many chapters and I think the key is to not be overwhelmed by the big picture and just take the little steps. I think sometimes, especially in this day and age, we kind of fall in love with this idea of something versus falling in love with the process. So when you have an idea and you want to start it, take the first step and follow through with, the goal here isn't to get to the top for me per se. It's to get out of my own way and keep taking small steps. Once you start taking those small steps, you'll start realizing this momentum. You're gonna generate this momentum of energy. So for example, for me, 
I was dwelling in this, I don't have enough time, I'm so tired, I'm always sick. And I kept playing this narrative over and over and over again. And I'm like, Maya, you need to accept that this is your reality. You're tired, you get sick every two weeks, and and what? <laughs> If you know that, that those are the constant variables, work with that in mind. So I, I finally got fed up of my own excuses, which at some point, hopefully you get fed up enough of your excuses that you start the journey and you continue the journey. And there is a, a quote, an object in motion stays in motion. So me, the object, will stay in motion because I've generated this momentum. And an object at rest will stay at rest until a force hits it for it to get out of its own way. Like, I feel like I've been hit with the force of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Thank you, God. Thank you for smacking me with the Holy Spirit and getting out of my head and creating. And it might not be perfect. It is not perfect. It's not perfect. It's far from perfection. But I'm doing it. My goals in life is to do and create. I feel like the lessons I have learned in the past, I'm having to relearn and re-implement them again. So if you think you've mastered something, give it 10 years and see where you're at. Because <laughs> I guarantee you, you'll forget lessons, you'll need to be reminded. And it's just, it's just a good Revival. It's a good revival. I'm in the season of revival. God, listen, I turned 41 and God is like, I am not done with you yet. I thought, I literally thought I got to my highest high. I saw the view and God is like, I said, I'm not done with you. I didn't give you 40 years for you to stop. I gave you more years so you can keep going. And so the, 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 the voice of God and the force of the Holy Spirit is pouring into me to the point where I'm just like, I don't have it all together, but I have enough to start. You have enough to start where you're at. Trust and believe you have enough to start. And once you start, more will be given to you. Like, you're gonna see on my Patreon page that this season of where I'm at, it's gonna keep growing. <laughs> and finally, once you start, once you take those steps, once you get that momentum, Finish what you start. Oh my goodness. Literally me and Max are in the season of finishing the projects that we started. We have so many home projects. There's little projects here and there and we get so much joy finishing off that project. Like we finished off our greenhouse. We finished off our sun deck that was just going on and on for years. We're finishing these projects and it might not happen on the timeline that you have. You might get distracted. You might go on a detour but it feels good to finish. It feels really, really good to finish. <sighs> and um, if you are fed up of your excuses, you are fed up of being in this space, you have everything within you to, to go now. And if you don't, I highly recommend reading the Word of God. Allow His Word to motivate and inspire you and you will get there. That's it from me. To see more of me, to celebrate this new chapter, this new journey I'm on, link in the info box below. It's so interesting actually, now that I'm reflecting. I started my YouTube journey the same time I started, more or less, my journey with God. Like a deliberate, intentional walk with God 11 years ago. Now, I feel like this revival of God coming back into my life after all these distractions and saying, let's do it together and don't forget me. I'm so curious what, where I'll be 10 years from, from then, from now. So I invite you to embark on this journey with me. It's gonna be super inspiring because God is working in me and through me. And God is working in you and through you. You just need to open the door, knock and you shall receive. Ask and it will be given unto you. <laughs> okay, God loves you. You, he loves you so much and um, I'm listening. I'm finally listening, God. I'm so grateful. <laughs> That's it for now. Remember to do you, be you, and stay true. Be shameless.